guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new here i'm aliana and in today's video it's a beautiful buttercream cake two tier with a cute little fondant teddy bear holding a bunch of balloon made out of chocolate from chocolate spheres if you guys want to see how i made this well keep on watching
So this cake was, I think, was a seven inch at the bottom and a five inch at the top. I did my normal baking and then I did the crumb coat. So I did my crumb coat and then put it in the freezer and then did my second coat of buttercream and I did that for both cakes, obviously. And then to stack them together, what I did is that um, I put some plastic dowels right here. Uh, not dowels, they're straws. But if you're not comfortable with plastic straws, you can also use paper straws or even dowels and it just works fine, it works perfect. And then, um, so yeah, so you would insert those, cut the size, and then in between two cakes, I just put a little bit of buttercream, you can also use ganache, so that both cakes like they stick together. And then you will always see a little rim, so just to clean it up, what I do, a little trick of mine, I just um, pipe a small little bead of all the way around of buttercream, and then using my finger, I just go ahead around and then smooth everything out. And it just looks like it's two pieces instead of putting a ribbon. So that's a, a baker's trick. So for the chocolate spheres, what I did is that I used my favorite, which are these. Love, love, love them. And they're so easy to use. So basically, you just heat up your chocolate or your candy melts and you fill them up. I have tendency of doing two coats. I highly suggest doing two coats because on the rim here, they have, uh, like it gets thin and then when you unmold, it breaks. So always do two coats or at least at the top. So like that, um, once you unmold, then you have the full half dome. And then what I do to stick them together, um, using a hot, pan, a hot plate or a frying pan, you just place your domes your half domes into, no, you place your domes onto the frying pan, just a little bit. You don't need to be there like for a minute, <laughs> just a little bit so that it melts a little bit and then stick them together and then just clean out the edges. And then there you go. Some people use styrofoam um, balls, sears. I'm not a fan of that. Styrofoam is dangerous, you can choke. So I try to use stuff that is like edible unless it's like synthetic flowers, that's different, but a styrofoam ball, I'm not a fan of that. So that's not the way I go about. I'm sorry for those who do, and it's okay if you do, it's just not my way. I prefer to use these, and on top of it, you can eat, you know, chocolate spheres. So they're a little bit more tricky to do because a styrofoam ball, you just stick it in the chocolate and then you get that perfect ball and then that's it, but it's not edible. So, and I would highly suggest if you're going that route, make sure to tell your client because it could be dangerous, like hinter. So for the little roses, oh, and then to stick them, what I did is that for the top, I used buttercream and then for the sides, I went ahead and use uh, some chocolate and a mix of buttercream. So like that, when it's in the fridge, like it just, it sticks to it like automatically and then it becomes glue and then you can like create your um, cascade. So that's for that. And then I use also this kind of mold, um, roses, to create little roses, but you can do anything in between and that would be nice also. What else? The little baby blocks. I love, love, love these. Um, they're so cute. So for that, I use this amazing mold. I love this mold, especially if I'm doing um, baby shower cakes or first birthday cakes. This is what I use. By the way, everything that I use in the video will be in my description box down below. So you can go ahead and look at that. And the teddy bear, the cute, cute teddy bear. I did a full video on how to do it. So that will be also linked down below. And that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.